You're on your way to enjoying clean, filtered water. Use this installation video along with your owner's manual to install your new A.O. Smith Undersink Reverse Osmosis Filter. Before you begin, make sure you read the owner's manual in its entirety for all warnings and details on special circumstances. Let's begin. You'll need to have these tools handy, along with your box contents. First, you'll need to install the brass T-fitting. Turn off the cold water supply to the sink, then turn on the cold water knob to your kitchen faucet to release pressure. Disconnect cold water line from the threaded stem on the cold water shutoff valve. Attach threaded ends of the supplied brass T to the cold water supply line. Attach 1 4 inch white tube to the brass T. Slide the compression nut onto the white tubing. Then slide the plastic sleeve onto the tube. Place your brass insert into the opening of your white tube and then push the tip of the white tube into the opening of the brass T. Slide your compression nut onto the threads of the brass T. Finally, tighten the compression nut around the plastic sleeve to create a seal. The next step is to install the system manifold and remineralizer holder. Select an area to mount the system manifold and remineralizer holder under the sink. Mark your placements for mounting screws, ensuring the holes are as level as possible. Drill two pilot holes and insert anchors and mounting screws, then mount the manifold. Screw your remineralizer holder onto the wall. Now you need to install the dedicated faucet. Make sure there's a sink top hole that's 1 and 1 4th inch in diameter for the faucet. If not, you will need to drill one. Then place the metal escutcheon and black gasket onto the faucet base. Feed the tubing and faucet threads through the countertop hole. Sliding the metal washer onto the faucet, thread the faucet nut onto the faucet threads and hand tighten. Measure the white 3 8 inch tubing from the faucet to the outlet of the remineralizer and cut the desired length. Next, you'll need to install the water storage tank. Wrap plumber's tape four to five times clockwise around the nipple on top of the tank. Unscrew the compression nut from the tank connector and slide it onto your tubing. Then push your tubing into the connector. Slide the nut onto the threads and tighten with a wrench. Place the tank near the system manifold. Now we need to install the drain connector. Identify your drain location outlet. Drill 732 inch hole on the drain pipe and position the drain connector on the sink drain above the drain trap. Remove protective cover from the back of the foam seal and attach to the front plate of the drain connector. Securely tighten nuts and screws. Now install the filter sumps to the manifold in order of 1, 2, and 3. It's time to connect all the tubing. Take the white tubing leading from the brass T and insert it into the manifold port labeled Inlet. You'll also need to connect the air gap to the RO membrane using the red tubing from the faucet. Insert the 3 8 inch white tubing from the faucet onto the remineralizer port labeled Outlet. Then with 3 8 inch red tubing, insert one end into the manifold port labeled Faucet and the other end into the remineralizer port labeled Inlet. Take the 3 8 inch white tubing from the storage tank and insert it into the manifold port labeled Tank. Take the 3 8 inch red tubing from the faucet and insert it into the drain connector. After installation, see the manual for steps on how to sanitize your system and do a pressure test. You're done. Time to enjoy clean, filtered water.